Welcome to Welcome back to the channel, you donkeys. We're back in the home game in Coquitlam, and for the first time, we're sporting our brand new card protector! I was so excited when these arrived. They have a great weight to them, great production quality, stay loose, play 7 deuce on one side, then this little Asian jester on the other side. $22.99 on my merch store, link in the description below, and if you order right now, you can even buy two for the price of two! Very good deal! One three buy-in for $300. First hand of note, I don't know why this has been a recurring theme on this channel, but for the third vlog in a row, we are jacking off on the button! Cutoff limps, I open to $15, small blind calls, and the cutoff calls. So we're three ways to a flop in position. Flop comes 10, jack, 8, 2 hearts. We have top pair, good kicker, and over, and some backdoor straight. It checks to me, I see bet $25, and now the small blind check raises to $60. I am learning to exploitatively overfold more in low stake games and to take more bet fold lines, but I'm not blocking hearts or the nine. They could be doing this with a draw, so we call and assess a turn. Turn brings the nine of hearts. The front door flush does get there, and there is now four to a straight. The small blind slows down and checks, and I check back. I'm just a fish trying to get to the river, which now brings the seven of clubs. There's a straight on the board now. And the small blind bets $65 into $165, and we just let this one go. We're down $75 our first hand in, so we top up for $100. Now in for $400. An hour passes before we pick up any playable hands. Stack has been blinded out to around $289. But before not too long, we're paying for a private COVID test within three days of our flight because we're flying American Airlines, baby! Under the gun, who stack covers me opens $20. We three bet in the cutoff to $75. Folds back to the small blind who now goes all in for 289 effective and I call him faster than I call Courtney when I see 5 missed calls from her. He shows ace king suited, we are running it once, let's watch the run out. No four outer on the river, baby. No meetup game trauma flashbacks. We're just doubling on up, and our stack is now five hundred and eighty dollars. Next hand, I feel like I'm watching Brokeback Mountain because all I can see are two cowboys ready to ride. Under the gun opens to ten dollars plus one calls. I raise to fifty dollars from the button. The big blind cold calls the three bet. Under the gun folds and plus one calls. What the hell is going on? Three ways to a flop. In position, the flop comes 9-9, nine, nine, deuce, rainbow, it checks to me, and on this dry flop, we bet $50. Big blind folds, and only plus one calls. So now a heads up, turn is the seven of hearts. Now, this player covers me, so I decide to check for pot control. River is the three of spades, it checks to me again, and for some reason, as I'm staring at this plus one player, I get the feeling he's strong. I, I go off a live read here. Uh, I don't know, the way his eyebrows were twitching, I don't know, something, something was telling me that he was strong. So, I would really hate to get check raised in this spot, this deep stacked, and against a player who covers me. So, I just state that, I'm not gonna get greedy, I check it back, he shows a pair of sixes, I show my kings, and he's like, what? And I'm also like, what? And I'm just kicking myself for not getting more value on the river. The plus one player even said that when I had checked the turn, he put me on ace king. So I definitely missed maybe around $100 or more in value on the river. So it just goes to show that despite what you see in every goddamn poker movie, live reads are usually way overrated. Who actually eats Oreos at the poker table anyway? We've seen aces, we've seen kings, let's run it up with ace king. I said for this episode, premiums only, damn it, and I meant it. We're in the small blind with our ace king offsuit, under the gun opens to $10. There are three callers, so we three bet it to $100, original under the gun opener calls, and a middle position player calls. Three ways to a flop, out of position, the flop comes, ace, ace, deuce, rainbow, big slick did not slick big today. We've got trips with the best kicker possible. Board is pretty dry though, so we want to bet small here, so we bet a third of the pot, hopefully getting calls from worse aces or pocket pairs, but unfortunately both players fold, so we take in this $300 pot. I think that because it's such a large 3 bet pot and the board is so dry, maybe a better sizing would have been a quarter pot bet. Live, learn, donkey, repeat. That's all you can do, folks. 
Stack is now $915, but the premiums don't stop there. We pick up seven deuce offsuit, seven deuce game is in effect. I open preflop, get four callers, miss the board entirely. I see bet large, everyone calls. Somehow we make it to the river. Let's see if I'm good. Seven deuce? Seven high? I, uh... Well, that was a stupid punt, but uh, it was good for the game, right, guys? Like, it was good for the game. Well, I did it because it was good for the game. Okay, time for a real premium. It's 7-8 suited. If you watch my The Two Voices in Every Poker Player's Head video, you'll know that suited connectors are undefeatable. Under the Gun opens to $10. I call in the cutoff button now, three bets to $35. Under the Gun folds, and I call. Heads up to a flop out of position. Heads up doesn't happen often in this game. Heads up to the flop out of position. The flop comes ace, ace, ten, two diamonds. We have a flush draw and some backdoor straights. I check and the button bets $35. Now, this player is kind of the action player at the table. He plays very loose. He three bets light and C bets almost 100% of the time. So I decide on a check raise here to $100. He folds faster than a master origamis and we take this one down. Okay, last time we'll go over after we punted with seven deuce and lose a few small pots. Our stack is now at around $735. We also go card dead again, so when we see Jack-7 suited in the cutoff, that looks like a premium to me, all Under the gun straddles to $15, middle position calls, I call in the cutoff. The short stacked button, who only has around $150, now raises to $45, and uh, donkey's gonna donkey, we all call. Four ways to a flop. Flop comes, nine, eight, five, two clubs. Like a cow that has two stomachs, we have a double gutter. Any six or ten gives us a straight. Now it checks to the button, who bets really small. He bets $40. And now under the gun straddler folds, middle position calls, and I call. Three ways now, the turn is the ten of clubs, giving us the straight, but also brings in the flush draw. It checks again to the button, who now goes all in for around $65. The middle position just calls, and now I have to decide on whether to call or raise. I decide on just the call. While middle position could potentially be on a club draw, the button might already have a made flush, so there's, I don't think there's any point in raising here, so I just call. And now the river brings the seven of clubs, four clubs on the board, we don't have one. And now middle position who covers me goes all in for $585 effective. The pot is around $500, so we just snap fold. Middle position shows the nut flush with ace four suited to scoop the entire pot. And the button mucks what he tells me later was an overpair. So we lose around $150 on that pot. Stack is back to around $575. We decide to just book a win here, so we cash out our chips for cold, hard Monopoly money. Oh, Canada, our home on native land. True patriot love in all thy sons' command. <coughs> Puberty. Woo! That's two winning sessions in a row. Amazing. I know that's not a lot, but for me... It feels pretty good, okay? <laughs> Not the biggest win, you know, I mean, at the highest, we were up like 400, 500 bucks. But, uh, you know, a win is a win. Happy to take it. We were in for 400, out for 575, giving us a profit of... Now, most of y'all aren't going to get this reference because you're degens and you're not familiar with the musical theater canon. But um, to honor my theater school roots, uh, I have to do it. A profit of... 175, 175, 175, 175. If you get the reference, let me know. Stay loose, you donkeys. I'll see you next time. Bye. Dragon.